Hey guys, Rahul Shire, trying to make investing accessible and profitable for the average investor. What kind of an investor are you? If you buy a stock and if the position goes against you or if you start incurring losses, do you behave like a rabbit? Do you behave like an assassin? Or do you behave like a hunter? Conversely, if the starts the stock starts going up it gains a good deal how how do you behave do you behave like a raider or do you behave like a connoisseur these are colorful metaphors right rabbit hunter assassin raider you know connoisseur these Colorful metaphors are a part of a very interesting book I came across recently called The Art of Execution, written by Lee Foreman Shaw. Now, Lee Freeman Shaw, uh, you know, what he did was uh, between 2006 and 2013. He invited 45 of the world's best investors and gave them anywhere between US dollar 20 million to US dollar 150 million to manage over a period of seven years, during which these guys made close to 2000 investments and almost 30,000 trades. He analyzed the performance of you know, all of these fund managers, compiled them and you know, drew some broad conclusions as to why did they perform the way that they did. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the best fund managers, uh, what are the principles they followed and the worst performing managers, why did they, you know, uh, underperform their peers. All of this is compiled in the, in the book and it makes for a very fascinating read. Now, what he has done is, uh, you know, when it comes to losing trades, when it comes to trades that go against you, he says that these fund managers behaved either like a rabbit or like an assassin or like a hunter. Now, what is a rabbit? A rabbit is an investor. When a stock goes against him and it starts going down, he takes absolutely no, no action and just watches it going down from a distance. Stock goes down 30%, he takes no action, he's unmoved, it goes down 50%, he takes no action and usually either blames the market for not, uh, you know, recognizing the value in the stock or considers himself unlucky, but he'll never blame himself. And he keeps uh, the stock, uh, you know, in the portfolio and keeps incurring those losses. So as is obvious, uh, Lee Freeman sure has come to the conclusion that you should never behave like a rabbit uh, in the stock market. As soon as a position starts going against you, you know, you should either cut your losses, cut the position, move out of the position or uh, if you're confident about the fundamentals of the stock, add more to your position. But never be a rabbit, uh, you know, oh, it's, it's not helpful over the long term and rabbits usually do not do end up doing well over the long term. In contrast, an assassin is someone who cuts his losses quickly. If the stock goes down more than 22%, uh, you know, assassins usually book profits and book losses anywhere between 20 to 33% if the position goes against them. So they believe in cutting losses fast. And this is a good behavior because if you are incurring losses in your position, it's, uh, you know, it's better that you move out and invest in some other stock rather than incur those losses. And the, the loss uh, should anywhere be between 20 and 33% and not less than 20% because if it is, if you're moving out of the stock after it has, uh, you know, gone down 5, 10 or 15%, there is a very high chance that it again recovers and you know uh, goes on to give good gains. So he ha had observed that of the total number of you know stocks that ended up in losses, 
67% of the time you were better off exiting the stock after it has gone down more than 33%. So you should be an assassin. If the stock goes down anywhere between 20, 20 to 33% or more, you should move out of the stock and, uh, you know, uh, save your portfolio from further losses. Now, Hunter is someone who behaves neither like a rabbit, neither like an assassin, who averages down the stock after it has gone down in price. If the stock has gone down 20, 25%, he'll buy more of the stock. Unfortunately, uh, the book is a little short on detail as far as the hunter attitude is concerned. And I think it's a good strategy to have as long as you're confident of the fundamental of the stock and as long as you're keeping uh, the position sizing in mind, uh, you're not letting the losing stock to be a big percentage of your overall portfolio. As long as you're keeping that in mind and as long as stock still has sound fundamentals, even a hunter-like behavior is fine. So when it comes to losing positions, either be like a rabbit or sorry, either be like an assassin or be like a hunter, but never be like a rabbit. Now let's come to the winning positions. Uh, when it comes to winning trades, when it comes to stocks that have gone up after you bought them, a raider is someone who exits exits the stock or who books 10-15% or 20% profits in the stock and moves out and does not wait for the stock to go up further. While a connoisseur is someone who will let his winners run. He will, you know, stay put in the stock as long as there's momentum in the stock, as long as stocks is, stock is going up. He will not be in a hurry to exit. And these are the investors that Freeman Shaw believes ended up having the best performance, even though they had a very low strike rate. So what he's, what, uh, he's saying here is, uh, on an average, the connoisseurs, had a lower strike rate than the average of the group. So if the average of the group was around 50% uh, where they made profits on 50% of the trades, connoisseurs made profits only on 40% of the trades. But because they let their winners run to, to, to their maximum potential, they ended up outperforming their peers. So this is the quality that an investor should have, uh, he believes is very very important it even if you have a lower strike rate even if you know a lesser number of your trades is successful but if you let your winners run and quickly cut your losses that is the hallmark of a very good investor and that investor has a very good chance of outperforming the stock market in the in the long run so his conclusion is uh, you know pretty simple and pretty straightforward uh, your performance in the stock market is, is dictated by how you behave after you have bought the stock how you behave after the stock has gone down from your purchase price, how you behave after the stock stock go, starts going up from your purchase price. So that behavior dictates your performance in the stock market, you know, more than anything else. And when it comes to having the right kind of behavior, you should either be an assassin or hunter when it comes to losing positions, or you should be a connoisseur when it comes to winning positions, and you should never be a raider or a rabbit. If you do that, you will not end up making good money from in the stock market from a long-term perspective. Now, uh, this advice is, you know, uh, very much given to someone who is a trader. But what about a value investor? Uh, how should value investor behave when it comes to losing as well as winning trades? You know, value investor invests, his principles are completely different. His, you know, Main principle is that he is investing in the stock market based on the concept of intrinsic value and he likes to buy the stock if the stock is has an intrinsic value of rupees 100 he likes to buy the stock at rupees 70 or below and he likes to sell the stock when it has reached you know uh, 100 rupees or slightly more so how should a value investor behave uh, how should he ensure that he does not have a rabbit-like behavior? And how should he ensure that he, he does not have a raider-like behavior when it comes to his winning positions? Well, the rules that I have found useful uh, over the last few years is that you should exit a stock after it has spent two years in the portfolio. You should have a definite selling rule of two years. You should hold a stock for maximum two years. And if it does not perform, even after two years, you should move out of the stock. 
when it comes to a winning position you should wait for at least 50 to 100 percent gains and only then sell the stock since you are buying a stock which has an intrinsic value of 100 at rupees 70 or below there's at least a 50 percent upside and if you know the company does well 100 percent upside to the stock and therefore you should not move out of the stock unless there is at least a 50 to 100 percent gain in your stock so that that's how a value investor should behave in the, uh, in the stock market and this if you look at it it's quite similar to uh, you know having an assassin like behavior and also having a connoisseur like behavior because you are having a definite sell rule where you are moving out of your position after two years and you are you know uh, letting your winners run at least to 50 to 100 percent even more if you're confident of the stock so I think this is a very very important rule when it comes to investing in the stock market uh, what is more difficult than buying is selling in my view and if you have a definite selling rule when it comes to investing when it comes to your portfolio I think it will do a world of good to your long-term investment returns selling is extremely difficult therefore it always pays to have some broad thumb rules when it comes to selling a trader will have a separate selling rule based on the price movement of the stock a value investor will have a separate selling rule based on the intrinsic value of the stock so if you are a trader follow the trading rules and if you are a value investor you should try and follow the value investing selling rule but always always uh, do not keep your selling rule you know a very broad and very vague have a definite selling rule which is subjective uh, which is easy to implement which is easy to remember and i think you will definitely end up doing well in the stock market over the long term so let me know what you think of this approach to investing as usual do send in your comments you know uh, your likes your dislikes and also help the equity master family grow so i'll see you again next time take care thank you so much